Good morning, Pre-K 1. Good morning, Pre-K 2. Welcome back for another edition of Math with Miss Tolman. Today is Monday, and we haven't sang our Today song in a while, so we're going to sing it together. Are we ready? We're going to do it regular. We may do it fast. We may do it slow. Keep watching and find out. All right? Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. We're gonna have a great day. We're gonna have a great day all day long. Monday all day long. Monday. Let's do it. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. We're gonna have a great day. We're gonna have a great day all day long. Monday all day. Now, since you're at home with your parents and your siblings, I want you to do it loud and clear so they can hear you. The loudest you can do, okay? Ready, go. Today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long, all day long. We're gonna have a great day, we're gonna have a great day, all day long, Monday, all day long, Monday. All right, now we're ready to begin. Let's get settled, let's get our listening ears on, and let's get started. So you know, we've been going over our numbers, one through 10, and we've made charts. I have a new chart to show you today. We've talked about numbers one through five, the different ways to make it. Last week, we focused on numbers six through 10, and we mainly focused on the 10 frame for each one. So this is, just to review, these are in red order, but we talked about the words. We talked about the dot numbers, who remembers what these are called? That's right, tally marks. And we also made cupcakes in the form of these, which are our 10 frame. So these numbers stop at five because there's five on the first row. And then on these, there it goes, it goes all the way to 10 because five plus five makes 10. Very good, you remember. So let's focus on this chart today. And we're going to also, like I said last week, focus on one way to make the numbers. And if you remember, we've done the 10 frame. We're going to focus on this special way and do a little adding as well. And these are called tally marks. Very good. And remember, we can also use our fingers because we have five fingers and five fingers. So we can count on from five, just like we will do with our tally marks. So we have the number six, seven eight, nine, and 10. These are the words. And this, in order to make the numbers, you have to take two dice because they're only, it only goes up to six on one. And that's why from six, you keep going to make the numbers. Okay, so we're gonna make tally marks. And I talked about that special way, what that slash means. You may remember, but if you don't, I'm gonna review it today, so no worries, okay? So, I wanna take my time and show you right now. So, we're gonna make the numbers together up to five, and then we're gonna add on from five. So, this is one tally mark, two, three, four, and when we get to five for tally marks, we make a special slash. So again, one, two, three, four, and five. We already did that chart, but today, as I said, we're gonna focus on adding on from five and make six. So in order to make our tally mark for six, I'm gonna get another color to show you. That's five. We're gonna make one more. So rather than starting level from five, I'm gonna add on. So we know that five plus one more equals, that's right, six. Good job. So this is the number for six tally marks. Excellent, excellent. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the five for all of them and I'm just gonna add on from there. So rather than having that five, I'm gonna add on one more. This is the same thing we did with the 10 frame where we had five on the top row and five on the bottom, but we went from five and continued. So we have our five tally marks 
and that always is five that slash every time you have that it means it's five and then we're going to add one from there so i want to keep blue so here we go so we have five plus two so we count on we go five six seven so five plus two equals seven great job so we know what number comes after seven. Do you know how many blue tally marks we need to make? We have two now. And if I add one more, how many will I have? Yay, three. So now I'm gonna add my other tally mark. So remember I have my five. I don't have to count those again because that stays five, six, seven, eight. But this time our addition sentence is gonna be a little different. We're adding each time. We're adding one to five. This is exciting because next week we're gonna do some books. And we're gonna practice doing the same thing. We're gonna start doing some math stories and books where we can see how we use the math in our everyday world. So we have five. Now I'm gonna add plus those, which is one, two, three. And if you remember, we had five and we counted six, seven, eight. So five plus three equals eight. Great job. All right, let's move on to the next number. What comes after eight? Nine. Great job. So do I need to count the tally marks all over again right here? No. I know that when I see that slash, I've counted one, two, three, four, and five. So I know that this number represents five. So I have my five at the bottom. But rather than have three single ones, I'm gonna count on from there. So I have five, I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna go five, what's next? Six, seven, eight, nine so i have five plus one two three four equals who remembers what we just added five plus four equals very good nine let's make this equal sound a little better so you can see clearly so when we add numbers we combine what we have and we add on, we count on. Rather than count each time, we start with the big number, which is five in this case, and we add on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four more tally marks equal nine. Great job. Let's do one more. So we have our five. We're gonna count on five more. One, two, three, four. Now I'm getting ready to make that fifth tally mark. Do I put the line here? No, I have to make a slash. That lets me know I have five more. So I have five here, plus I have another five here. Five plus five, we all know this equals Yay, 10. Good job. You're on a roll. Let's count them all again just to make sure we're right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. All right, let's review how to make the tally marks for the numbers 1, I'm sorry, 6 through 10. So, we have our five tally marks here. One, two, three, four, five. And from that five, we add one more, which gives us six. Five plus one equals six. Then we have five again. That stays the same, plus two more. Five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. We start again with five because that's the number we're starting with each time. Then we go six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals eight. 
our five we start with again and we add on four more five six seven eight nine five plus four equals nine five plus five we know because we've done this so many times equals ten so our numbers again are six seven eight nine and ten great job so you can practice counting and adding by starting with five and adding on. You can use tally marks. We've gone over the 10 frame, but you can also just use your fingers as well. So just really quickly, you wanna practice at home, you go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your five would be the way you make the tally marks with that slash, and you keep going. You know how to make the numbers, and you know how to add. You guys are on a roll. We are grooving and learning together. I miss you so much. I'm getting my hug at the end because I didn't get it at the beginning. And I can't wait till I see you again. Love you. Have a wonderful, fantastic day. Keep learning, keep growing, and we'll see you next time.